tell that he's you know hovering over the Bowser, giving us a little too. Bowser has been, I get, you know what? Bowser's gonna blow up after UGC. Let's face it, because Nairo doing that to <laughs> to Mr. E. I've been playing Bowser a while, and character's good. I'm just not. Yeah. Like, character's <laughs> actually not terrible. All right, we're going to Smashville. No surprises there. Uh, these guys know each other very well. Um, Big Mac is usually kind of the JJ Slayer a little bit. He's, he's got a solid record against them. Uh, Big Mac is one of those guys who just, like, for where he's ranked, he has a lot of big wins against a lot of really quality opponents in Chicago, and that's really what keeps him up there. Yeah, and especially his track record against JJ, it's been super solid, and he's been getting more consistent with uh, how he's been facing him recently, so... And right now, it's, uh, it's kind of going a little bit back and forth. JJ's kind of been pulling off to a little bit of an early lead. But you, th usually this is kind of where Big Mac comfortably plays from. He usually tends to, like, JJ always gets the lead first. Uh, like, yeah. almost always gets the lead first. Big right? Mac generally accepts against a lot of Diddy uh, players that he's going to get grabbed early and often, and he's okay with that because he likes to feel out the opponent. It re is really just the style that he plays with, and then he can make adjustments as the game and the set progress. Yeah, that's true. And it, and it also helps out because Sheik does a really... Sheik does better with Rage, especially when uh, characters are a little bit lower percents. Oh, but here we go! This Oh, I'm surprised we didn't Oh, he went for it. I'm surprised he didn't go for it immediately after the uh, neutral air. That was an interesting recovery there by JJ to prevent the ledge tromp. Good up tilt. Yeah, that, that was definitely interesting, because in that string, I'm pretty sure that Big Mac had the opportunity to bouncing fish after that neutral air, or maybe he just, uh, maybe was caught up in the end lag or something, I don't know. He chose to kind of go for a rogue one, uh, probably thinking that JJ wouldn't be expecting it at all, uh, and he just missed it. But still, that was definitely a good chase down. And now you can see is he's now turning on the offense a little bit more. He's not, he's felt up JJ enough. He's kind of got his pace down now. And now he's starting to really kind of... Oh, oh no! no! That's like He, he oh. just kind of bobs his head like, yep, <laughs> oh, that'll that, happen. That was gross. Oh, man. I, I had a chat with Big Mac before this set, and he was talking about potentially delving into and learning a little bit about melee and i really want to tell him after this like if you, if you want to learn that game expect that to happen every second stop yeah so oh man that just you really hate to see that because like it's one of those situations that players usually are never ready for if they get hit towards the stage when they're that close all right, well, he did say he would go a secondary if he lost convincingly. I guess he doesn't guess consider that, that a convincing win. I mean, I w honestly, if I was in that position, I really wouldn't consider that convincing either. <laughs> uh, but All right, he's coming out of the gate a little bit hotter now. He feels like he has adequately figured out how JJ's playing today. Yeah. And so far, so good. Yeah, Big Mac is definitely one of those players that do a whole lot better in, the, in their game, too. Especially like when they have the read on somebody and they start figuring out their habits. That's when he's, you know, that second game is really when he starts showing his teeth and starts doing some really, really impressive stuff. There's little things that Big Mac is doing differently than he usually does, and I think that that's a little bit of that Mr. R influence from him being here. Like, he tried to down tilt at the ledge a moment ago, and he'll do that occasionally, but usually not against Diddy Kong because he feels comfortable with... JJ doing the neutral getup, and he tends to get grabs out of that a lot. Like, there yeah, you like go. right there, yeah. He's and starting to acknowledge that JJ's been doing that a lot in this set, so he's just ooh, he's very, very dangerous there. I thought that uh, shield was going to – I thought that he was either going to, like, drop shield at the wrong time or it was going to get poked. To be honest, that's not even a set thing. Like, JJ does have a habit of neutral getup, and Big Mac has always been one who's noticed, and he can time it real well. All right, nice little down tilt into up smash combo. Yep. A little bit of Diddy bread and butter. A little bit, yeah. Wouldn't be a Diddy set without some of that. So now the challenge is Big Mac needs to seal out this stock right now because if JJ still has momentum and he's got that lead, he's not going to give it up that easily. And it's still not going to take it. Yeah. Big Mac has been doing a, an excellent job against JJ throughout the entire set, to be honest, but he's had a real problem closing out stocks. And sometimes you just get into this situation where you can get a lot of, like, small aerials, but that's it. And the opponent will just play defensively enough to not let you in. You have to not get frustrated. 
you have to just keep racking up the damage. They will die eventually. And yeah, now you can you can see that JJ is starting to back off a little bit. He wants to keep this stock going as long as possible because all it is just going to do is wear Big Man out. But he got that up there with only 19% on him, so this is still a very, very much an even game. JJ had done an excellent job throughout of not getting caught by aerials, and that was one little mishap there, and so that's all it takes, especially when you're at high percents. Now we have just a very even game. Ooh, and you see Big Mac now starting to figure out JJ's kind of sitting in shield a lot, so he's going in with these just empty hop and hoping for some cross-up potential, maybe probably on deck with a neutral air or something. He's just now using his movement really well to kind of just keep JJ in that position where it's like, okay, well, are, are you going to attack? Should I drop shield? Should I not? JJ has felt a lot more comfortable this stock. He's maintained pretty much center stage at all times, oh, yeah, and yeah. he has read you can every tell that he's attempt. A, yeah, you can tell that he's got his composure back from the uh, from a, a couple of those uh, flubs in game one. But this is Sheik and it's Smashville, so JJ still got to find a confirm here to steal out the stock. Yeah. But the back pivot throw. grab back throw, whew, that's going to close it out. So a 2-0 from JJ Rockets. Big Mac's going to have to definitely maybe go back and look, look at some of the tapes, what went wrong. And JJ, he's been playing pretty good tonight, so... You know, I would be surprised if he was the one to go at uh one of, or at least one of the ones to go at MK Leo, um, or Mr. R because they're.